Hello, I'm Lee Barnes and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Illustrator's Gradient Opacity Mask tool. Now then, what we've got here is just a simple word just typed out on the screen. Uh, I've actually created outlines for it if you don't know how to do that. Um, just simply type out a word and with the text selected just go to type and create outlines there. So that will form a shape for you rather than an actual set out font. And what we want to do is just split that word into two. I've already done that here. Um, and the bottom half there, if you just select a different colour, just to better emphasise the effect that we're going to apply to that. Obviously, so just choose a colour that suits you. Now, again, just as a bit of a tweak to the design and to emphasise the effect that we're going to get there, I've just kind of offset, um, offset the bottom half of this word just slightly. What we're going to actually do is apply the gradient opacity mask to that to get the effect of it sort of disappearing onto that horizon line in the center there. Uh, to do that, we obviously want to get that area selected. I'm just going to group that. And then we need to grab the little rectangle tool here. Just drag over that area. It doesn't matter if you go over it down here or anything like that because you can edit it later. But just for the sake of it, I'd probably just keep it flush to the bottom edges of that section and we actually want to um, give it the default black to white gradient effect fill so just by clicking on the gradient there you can do that now that's going from right to left at the moment in a linear gradient which isn't exactly what I want in the final thing but just to show you we can edit it later so I'm not going to worry too much about that the way I'm going to go forward is oh that's a little bit off there just make sure you've covered all of the area that you do want to um, to affect with this gradient opacity mask. Once you've done that, select all of the items in the second half of the bottom half of that word, including the gradient overlay. And the important thing here is to make sure that that gradient overlay is actually the top object within that group. Once you've done that, go to the transparency panel, which if you can't find it will be in window and transparency. And there's a couple of ways to do the uh, to add a transparency mask, but the little hidden away feature is actually here. If you could click up in this top right hand section, it will bring down a drop down box, and with everything selected, click Make Opacity Mask. And you can see that that effect has been applied, and anywhere on that gradient mask, uh, gradient opacity mask that was black has now become transparent. So just to show you that, if I actually put a colour behind all these shapes you can see that that fill within this bottom section has been completely removed at this edge because it's transparent now then obviously we wanted that going um, as a sort of horizontal gradient rather than a vertical so you can actually go into it and edit it which is the great thing about it it's not just um, a locks off feature you can actually select your area and within that transparency panel again you have these two boxes the right hand side one wasn't there before we added that panel um, at the opacity mask sorry you can actually see it there you've enabled it and disabled it so to edit the actual shape that we've created in, in the first place which is the blue complete fill you need to click on the left hand side but to edit the gradient which is what we want to do now is you just click on the right hand side as you can see, it's selected the bounding box for that shape that we created before. Um, if you want to edit that gradient, just simply edit it as you normally would do by going into the gradient panel. Uh, we do want a linear gradient, but we actually want it running at 90 degrees. Uh, and that's exactly the effect that I wanted. I wanted it to be fading away within to the actual horizon line there. But you can just move the sliders as you normally would and you can see that any word that is covered by black within the gradient will be completely taken out obviously you can swap those around if you want and, and just play with it to whatever suits your design and that's really how you go about it really not much more to it in the basic sense um, but the great thing about it is as I said that it's editable you can go in change the areas that's actually affected by that gradient mask there as you can to go in and edit that and also that doesn't have the feature of being 
uh, the actual gradient of the transparency either. So hopefully you've learned something there and um, I'm sure it'll benefit your future designs. And uh, thanks very much for listening.